So, hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546372 and I sing to take away pain. Um I don't ever really do that. Um but I decided to give it a try the other day because I have this chronic pain that is uh, unpredictable. And um, I took a, what do they call it, a muscle relaxant, I think it is. Um, the pharmacist said to take two of them. I've taken one in the past, didn't work. Um, so I figured, okay, this pharmacist tells me to take two. So I took two and that didn't work either. Still have the pain half an hour later. So I figured, okay, I know baseball players and all these other players, they ice themselves up. Um, as an aside, I think it's Michael Lewis. He said that, uh, um, I guess, a, is it a baseball coach? Yeah, a baseball coach basically changed his life from the path that it was going down to making him a more confident, capable person who could eventually become a famous author. What does that have to do about pain and icing your arm? Well, yeah, he was a baseball player. And um, I think <laughs> that he said that, you know, up to today, he still can't sleep on that arm. The arm that he used, I guess, to pitch. Um, I don't think that that makes sense to sacrifice a part of your body in terms of pain for years into the future for success. Um, I guess you would think it's a good trade-off. Um, and I might too, you know, in the past I might have, but I don't really think so. But, um, anyway... Um, I know people ice. I've seen people with iced arms and stuff. I don't have all that plastic to put against people's arms. And I wanted to lie down in my bed while I'm doing it. So I got some sheets of old newspaper and um, put the ice in a bag. Put um, the ice bag underneath my arm so I could try and, and sleep. I didn't but at least fake it uh, while I had my arm iced. And when I did that, I thought to myself, you know, having ice up against your skin or your arm, it's not pleasant. It's not like you don't feel anything at all. It's unpleasant because it's ice under normal circumstances. If you had your arm against some ice, you would move it away because it doesn't really feel that great. And I was thinking, so here I am with this pain. Um, and in order to try to get away from this pain, I was using a different kind of discomfort. Was it just going to take my mind off of this thing? Because... Oh my god, this is cold. I don't really like it. It's uncomfortable. And then I completely... Is that the trick? Is that the Jedi mind trick? Where, you know, somebody tells you that... Uh, you you tell someone, okay, well, my, uh, my big toe was hurting. So they say, really? Well, give me your hand. And they hit your fingers with a hammer. And they're like, why'd you do that for? And they ask you, uh, well... Can you, are you still worried about the pain in your toe? No? Okay, well, that's why I did it. Yeah, not a good, that's what I was thinking. Now, I guess what happens eventually is that the ice pain, eventually the whole thing goes numb, so you just don't feel anything at all. I guess that's, is that the idea? That you numb everything. So initially, you're uncomfortable. And then, 
eventually you don't feel anything at all. Well, I don't think that that's what happened with me. I think it's that it was an easier discomfort to eventually ignore is what the ice was. The ice, um, you know, I could initially still feel the spasming pain, which is my pain. Um, it kind of comes every five, ten seconds, like an intense, and in, it's kind of like what I imagine like a, a muscular seizure is like. It's just really intense pain for like a fraction of a second. And um, I could feel it through the ice. Um, eventually it became less and less and less bad. And then I guess it went away altogether. And I was kind of like, okay, I don't know if I should move the bag of ice now, even though it's not quite so cold anymore. But um, I did and the pain didn't come back, which is great. So now after many, many years, it could be five or 10 years of this, you know, every once a month it used to be at some point before I exercised and now it's like eh, once every six weeks once every two months something like that so now I have something that potentially I can use um, yeah so I'm happy about that um, I'm not looking forward to trying it again because there's that initial double discomfort of your pain and this new pain of or discomfort of the ice until the ice numbs your arm and then hopefully you don't feel either the coldness or the pain of your but like I said I still felt it so I don't know I just wanted to express um, my feeling about that um, I find it's unfortunate for people who have that chronic pain as a result of sacrificing their body for wealth or fame, or not even for wealth or fame, for the opportunity to get wealth or, or fame. And most people, it doesn't work out for most people. Anyway, um, thanks for listening. If you did, have a good one. Peace.